Okay, welcome to the Academy. In this session, we're going to talk a little bit about Data Vault core constructs. Uh, if you're not familiar with Data Vault, uh, I can tell you right off the bat hubs, links, and satellites are the core constructs for Data Vault. So uh, at this point, you already know what we're going to talk about. Um, we have a hub, that's the business key. We have a link that relation, uh, is a relationship type. And then we also have a satellite that defines context. But let's go and take a look at them in a little more detail. The first one is the hub. And if anything else that you learn, uh, the most important thing is that a hub represents a business key. And what we mean by a business key is a core business entity, um, enterprise-wide key, something that's unique throughout the enterprise or certainly the scope of our project enterprise. Uh, the key used by business uh, if they're going to do search for context. If they say, um, hey, let's find uh, uh, Hans's address. You know, what key do we use to search for that customer? How do we find context about them? It's used in business documents, in correspondence, in emails. It's used in conversations around the water cooler. Uh, how do we, uh, you know, I have a problem with, uh, you know, this account today. Well, which account? Well, the, the bourbon account, whatever it is. Uh, th these are the keys we use to, to define uniquely these business core entities. It tends to be a player in a core business process. Uh, it's something that's tracked, managed, and maintained by the business itself. So it's something that's important to them. And let's also uh, end this little uh, conversation on hubs with it has meaning for the business. That's the biggest thing here. It's a business key. So when you talk about it, it means something to the business itself. Now, from a structural perspective, the hub is a construct that contains a business key. It contains only a business key, and it has no context whatsoever. In other words, if you take a look here, what's happening is that the hub contains a uh, business key itself, this business key here. It has a surrogate key, which is the data warehouse key that we generate. Right? We generate this key to make sure that we can manage it properly in the warehouse layer. And then it also has uh, a record uh, source and a date time stamp so we can keep track of it. That's it. There's no description about what this thing means. It's only the key itself in this table. Now links, links are relationships, which means they combine business keys from multiple different places. It's a many-to-many -many relationship, a unique combination of enterprise-wide keys, and it's a specific association. If I'm related to store because someone bought something from me, the sale associates me with the store. If I work for the store, then I have another relationship, another link that says I'm employed by the store. If I buy something from the store, I have a third relationship that says now you're a customer of the store. So it's unique, specific relationships. And keep in mind, they should be natural business relationships. Relationships that are understood by the business, just like the hub keys were. And they're not technically driven. We're not trying to build links that are based on just technical or source system uh, views. Now, a link construct then is a relationship. It's only a relationship, just like the hub contains no context. So it also has a one-to-one -one relationship with a relationship, this new surrogate key. Just like with the hub key, it has a one-to-one -one relationship with a surrogate for a hub. The link table contains now two or more foreign keys for the relationships based on the surrogates, date, time, stamp, and record source, almost identical to the hub, but instead of a business key, it's a relationship of keys. That's all it is. Now, this means there's a lot left over to take, uh, to take and manage in a warehouse. Everything else is being done by the satellite. Now, so the satellite holds the context about the key or the relationship. It's specific only to the one thing that it's attached to. In other words, customer hub has a satellite for address. That satellite can only define address for the customer, nothing else. It's, it's actually got very um, uh, uh, descriptive information, but it can only describe the key that it, that it comes from, and the key that it comes from is the hub or the link that it describes. So context includes all the descriptive data, and actually equally as important, all the history. In other words, when I have a history uh, record that comes in, something changes, in a warehouse I keep the old one, all that history about what came before is only maintained in the satellite. So they, they, they're hard working over here. Um, if you look at the actual format of these things, they contain context only. 
They don't have their own identity. They don't have their own business key. And we also tend to create more than one by hub or link. That's actually one of the big benefits. More than one means that we can break them out by things like how quickly things change, uh, what type of data is in it, what source system they have. And if you look at the key structure, they take actually the surrogate key from the hub or the link, the surrogate key, plus date timestamp, and that's what makes this key unique. So I can have multiple instances. The only way I have more than one instance in a satellite for a hub key record is by date timestamp. Then it has all the context and it has record source. The record source tells me where did this come from? So I know where it came from. So the backbone of the data vault is hubs and links. It's all the business keys and how they relate. But the backbone is not volatile. It doesn't have anything to do with history or context or how things are described. If I want to know how things are described and I want that history and that context, I have to add on the satellites. So the satellites are now what defines what's happening with these keys and what defines it over time. So all the history is here. Now this backbone concept means that the vault concerts are very solid, but also that they're very quickly adaptable to new context and historical tracking. It makes them a very strong choice for enterprise data warehousing. Thank you.